waters before and the waters after, now and forever flowing, follow each other. That's a verse from an old Chinese poem expressing what they call the Tao, the way, course, or flow of nature. Of nature seen as spontaneous and liquid movement. The philosopher Lao Tzu, writing some 2,400 years ago, put it this way. The great Tao flows everywhere, both to the right and to the left. It loves and nourishes all things, but does not lord it over them. And when good things are achieved, it makes no claim to them. For the whole world is liquid, and even rocks, bones, and shells are pieces of sculpture whose forms memorialize the essential patterns of flowing water. In the West, we tend to think of the real as the solid, and our images of God are geological. Rock of ages, cleft for me. Ein fester Burg ist unser Gott. A mighty fortress is our God. We look for firm, rigid ground upon which to stand. Yet, as one of our own poets says, the hills are shadows, and they flow from form to form, and nothing stands. There is no firm ground. We live on a ball, floating and falling in space. The very liveliness of life and death, for the two are inseparable, is change. And this movement, this energy, cannot be captured or pinned down. Water taken from a stream in a bucket no longer streams. And wind caught in a box is dead air, no longer blowing. Therefore, we must get away from the idea that religion, that God, is something to hold on to, upon which to take a stand. In a liquid universe, the art of life is like swimming, and one does not swim by clutching the water or trying to stand upon it. To swim, the body must relax into the water and float by the rhythm of breathing air, out and in. Abandon then the ambition to define and fix everything, to shut the world up in boxes and pigeonholes labeled with words, and to hold on to yourself as a form of life which absolutely must and ought to survive. Go with the water, go with the flow of things. Yourself are like a whirlpool, a temporarily constant pattern or dance in streaming liquid. In the hypnotic illusions created by speech, we say that there is such a thing as a flame on the top of a candle. But a flame. It is actually a stream of hot gas. And ourselves and our bodies are just the same kind of thing. Thing? I should rather say event. Action or process. And the real fundamental you is not so much the whirlpool as the whole river which is simultaneously source, stream, estuary, ocean, clouds, and rain. Flow go with it, then. And do not resist time, change, and death. For the only real problematic form of death is rigidity and resistance to change. 
to quote Lao Tzu again. Man at his birth is supple and tender, but in death he is rigid and hard. Plants, when young, are supple and soft, but when old, they are brittle and dry. Thus, suppleness and tenderness are the marks of life, whereas rigidity and hardness are the marks of death. The waters before and the waters after, now and forever flowing, follow each other.